welcome back to another episode where we're, I mean, it's a little bit of a new episode where I'm super excited to interview different businesses here in the area on what they do, their community, and then also pretty special of us to all belong to this organization when it comes to networking and just sharing what it's done for our business and the power of networking because we have COVID and we had Zoom and Zoom is still great, but I know a lot of us are really loving the in-person back together. So I'm super excited to have my guest yes. Lisa with us today, who is a networking queen on all fronts. So we're going to learn a little bit from her. Um, so thank you, Lisa, for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, happy to be here. Happy to share. I've been drinking the BNI Kool-Aid for a long time. <laughs> well, I'm super excited to learn some stuff. You know, I'm still pretty new to everything. So I'm going to be a little bit selfish and ask a little bit of questions for myself. But first, why don't you kick us off and just tell us a little bit about what you do and your journey in business. Awesome. Yeah, I own a direct primary care practice called True Access Primary Care. Um, this is my second direct primary care practice. Um, I had one in Gainesville for seven years and sold to my business partner a few years ago and opened in Palm Coast. Um, I love what I do. I have the best job in the world. I had to create my own job because I don't really work well for other people um, just because I want things to be better. And sometimes you can't make it better if it's not yours. So um, so yeah, we, my practice in Gainesville opened in 2015 and I joined BNI, I think September of that year. Um, and it just blew the business up. My business partner joined a BNI. And then when we hired our first practitioner, she joined another BNI. So we were in three BNIs because we knew the power of word of mouth and, um, those relationships you develop. It's just amazing. So, um, like I said, I've been drinking the BNI Kool-Aid a long time and I love it. So, wow, that's crazy to me. It's 2015 still feels like two seconds ago, but I was just doing the math and it was nine years ago at least, which oh. is nuts. Um, what, what, did, like, what brought you, who invited you to your first BNI meeting? How did you first hear of it? Okay. So, uh, my practice in Gainesville, which is celebrate primary care is the name of the practice. Um, we had an open house and we got lucky because there was, um, legislation on the ballot about um, nurse practitioners. And so we got on the front page of the newspaper literally three days before our ribbon cutting. So like 250 people showed up to our 1100 square foot office. It was so crazy. Um, so we had a big showing. And of course, you I mean, you know how it goes, right? People in the chamber in Palm Coast are also in BNI. And so then we had, you know, all these chamber people who are also in BNI come and they're like, you have to come to BNI, you have to come to BNI. And so we were invited to all of the BNIs, of course. Um, and we joined based on what our schedule worked. Like mm -hmm. the, we joined the BNIs, there were three at the time or four at the time. And we joined three of them, um, over the course of about a year and a half. And, um, I mean, I was probably invited 25 times. I mean, you know how it goes, right? You have to be invited. And I was like, oh, you know, it's a lot of money. We can't really afford it, da, da, da. And everybody's like, well, you can't afford not to, which is what I tell people now too. And they were right. I mean, I can't even, I mean, I knew as soon as I was going to be full-time in my business, I had to join BNI. I was going to BNI as a sub for eight months before I opened my practice official. Wow. Yeah. So I knew I had to start making those connections and meeting, you know, meeting people and meeting light-minded, you know, people that were going to it, it lift up and grow other businesses too. So, mm -hmm. and I would love to know because it's a very common misconception that all networking groups are the same, you know, or like you've been to one and you're like, oh, it didn't work out for me. Or I've been to this kind of group and it didn't work out for me. Um, but BNI is special and BNI is different. How did BNI work for you? And how would you kind of like advise people when they kind of have that idea when they come to you? So I think you have to, you know, be in other networking groups. I don't think mm -hmm. just being in BNI is enough, um, but there's accountability in BNI, which makes it very different and very special. And it's really about, you know, givers gain. And people are like, givers gain. And literally I tell people, because I've had people say to me, oh, I've been in BNI, it doesn't work. And I'm like, hmm, mm -hmm. really tell me about that. Like, were you actually passing referrals? Were you actually doing your one-to-ones and focused on growing that other person's business? Or were you in there to take? Because it doesn't work for everyone. If you're just in there to get what you can get, it's not going to work. Like you have, it's a recipe. It's like, I tell people, you're not going to make chocolate chip cookies and not put flour in chocolate chips and then be like, that recipe was terrible. Well, of course <laughs> it was terrible. You didn't do what you're supposed to do. So I feel like BNI is like that as well. And if you do it right, it will work for anyone. 
but it's almost like if your mindset's not right, it's not going to work. And other networking groups are great because you can meet people, you can tell them who you are, they can know who you are, but there's no accountability, right? Mm -hmm. There's no like, oh, my, I'm expected to pass one to two referrals to other people in this chapter every week. Like that's an expectation and it's monitored and measured and very transparently, you know, given to the whole chapter. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I love accountability. Like I'm a high accountability girl. Um, that's kind of parent I am too. And so for me, um, it works really well and other networking groups are great. I love it. Like I'm in several others and I love meeting people in different environments. Not everybody is going to understand the value of BNI. Not everybody's going to be able to join a chapter of BNI. So I want to meet other people as well, but there's nothing like the power of BNI and what it could do for your business ever. Yeah. Yeah. Anything on any level. I mean, I've been in, I've been in Vistage. I've been in CEO, CEO groups. I've been in all kinds wow. of different, I, yeah, I've been in all kinds of things and I can tell you they have their value. They're different. And it's important to do a multiple different things for coaching and stuff like that. But for just the value, the return on investment is there's nothing like BNI in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, even recently I've been in BNI for almost a year now. Um, and just recently, you know, I do my one-to-ones and stuff like that, but I started going to like the other cross chapters and other like round tables and stuff like that, that um, our region hosts. And I started connecting with people and like, for the past few weeks, I've done some of my most, you know, most referrals ever because I've been doing like, just doing like two one-to-ones and I'm like, oh my God, like I have like lists of people. I'm like, I need to connect you with this, 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 this. <laughs> like, I think, you know, the week before I had like six and then I had like 11 and then this week I'm going to probably have like 11. And it's just doing those like one-to-ones and doing the things that they've been telling us to do anyways and doing those visits out of my chapter as well. Right. Oh yeah. The round tables, of, of tables are very valuable. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. Um, I would love to know since you've been in BNI for, you know, nine plus years now at this point, and I'm still almost a year and barely, um, what advice do you have for some, you know, BNI newbies like me? Well, it's the things you're doing, do the things, get your CEUs, do your one to ones, pass your referrals, you know, put in, put in your thank you for closed business, like do the recipe and pay attention to who's like in your contact sphere, who could refer you the most. Mm -hmm. And that's where you start, like start with the people that you could refer easily and that they could refer you easily because then you kind of start to feel successful, you know, and VCP is real. Like you're, you're visible. And as you are more visible, then you build credibility as you're more credible, then you start making money, but you don't come in and just start making money. It's not P C V. That is not how this works. It's you have to put in the energy, the time and build the relationships. And that's really what grows a business. Definitely. And, you know, I love what you said about knowing who you can refer to best um, immediately. Because uh, for me, when I do my one-to-ones, I'm very honest. I'm like, hey, I would love to refer you people. Let me tell you about the people I mostly connect with. I mostly connect with other business owners. So I might not be the person to give you like, I have a client for you ready right now, but I could probably connect you with a good referral partner or a good referral source. And that's what I do best. So knowing that, who are some great referral partners that I can connect you with? And like, that's how I just tell people. And then they're like, you know what? You're right. I, I need to be connected with like senior living is centers and stuff like that. Cause you know, we all want to help everyone. We all want to help everyone. But I'm like, that's not helpful right now. Yeah. Um, but there are probably some good sources I can connect you with. And knowing that for myself, it's just been so helpful for other people to learn as well. Yeah. I mean, I feel like when I go into a one-to-one, -one, I think of, who can I refer you that you can get multiple referrals from? Yes. Like, yes. If, you know, with, with John, you know, with, uh, painting, it's like, yeah. yeah, I can refer you to somebody that needs painting. I would always automatically because you, you did such a great job for me, but like, how can I get, like, can I get him in front of association? How, who, you know, who, what entity person group can I get him in front of where they're going to be able to give him multiple referrals? realtors or, you know, um, these home builders where they just put the, what it slap, whatever on the wall and people that want custom stuff done, like those are the referrals. So anybody I go in with, it's not just like, oh yeah, I got it. I, you know, I know my, my friend Susan needs her house painted. Of course I'm going to do that referral, but that's not how I think I go in thinking who can I refer to, you know, refer you to that could give you a lot of referrals, you know, like tier three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like yep. that's, how I think. And there's not, I can't do that for everyone. Like I, I go sure. in that. And of course I can't be successful every time, but I think as a new member, if you go in thinking, okay, 
like this guy, this guy does driveways. Okay. Who do I know that is going to have to have multiple driveways done? Right. It's like, okay, like investor maybe, or, um, an association or a realtor or a commercial realtor or whatever. It's like thinking high level is actually going to be the most beneficial for that. Yes. Yeah. Like for example, recently, um, like we've gotten really close with, um, an accessibility company. So what they do is, I mean, you know them, um, but they, they go, they're supposed to be coming to be. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So like, for example, I know that they go into seniors homes and they, you know, set them up with any, any like grab bars, accessibility ramps, stuff like that. So they go into people's homes. So then I start, you know, I started, I thought of a few people to connect them with mostly in the senior uh, care like yeah. sphere. And then I go, wait, anyone who works with houses is a good referral. So I started going up to like power washers and cleaners. And I was like, hey, you should be connected with this person because you guys both go to home. So to me, that's the same thing. And like, actually, that's such a good idea. I had never thought of that. So like being creative with it is, I think, really, well, like, a really fun part about B&I. Social workers in um, rehab facilities mm-hmm. are trying to get people home. They can't go home because they don't have a ramp. Right. You know, like I definitely like when they come t- um, tomorrow, I want them to meet Lindsay because mm-hmm. she works at that facility. But like, I know other people that work at, fac- at other facilities in the area. And it's like, oh, your social worker needs to know that these people exist because they can't go home because they don't have a ramp. They don't know who to call. That's your person. So yes, yeah. exactly. There's so many levels to it. Um, but before we hop off, my last question for you, and this is kind of like a, it can be a big one when it comes to BNI. I know there's like a lot of intimidation about it, but leadership, that's such a big question. And you just came on, well, you've been on leadership before um, multiple times, but you just came on as our president. And first of all, you're doing an amazing job. It's been a month and like the changes have just been amazing. I mean, I'm benefiting the most, but <laughs> I'm getting gift cards because of this now, guys. But anyways, regardless, you're doing an amazing job. What would you have to say to anyone who's maybe considering leadership next year or maybe you know it's like just a little intimidated but how is it actually that much work what do you kind of have to say to that and how you love to be a part of leadership well I was was so funny the chapter in Gainesville I was president like my at the like Mm -hmm. beginning second year just like here um I don't know if you feel like you want to make a difference and make it better you know some people like to sit and complain but don't want to hop in and help um it's all volunteer but like I mean, our chapter is amazing. Like I don't have any complaints. I didn't come in and change things because I thought we were doing a great job. I came and changed things because I thought we were like two millimeters from being off the chain better and two millimeters more off the chain better. And so the changes I came in and made, I think just make it easier when visitors come, when guests come. Um, and I want people engaged when they're at the meeting. So I changed the meeting room and I changed the order of how we, you know, um, do our 30 second. I changed the time. I added a a third seven minute presentation. Like, I feel like all of those things are just going to make us better and better and better. So, you know, it, if you just can't be afraid to come in and there's like low hanging, easy things you can start with, like visitor host, come as a visitor host. If you're going to be there anyway, that way you get to meet all the new people that come in. Like what a freaking great opportunity that is. And if you're a good closer, you know, be the visitor host that's at the end. Like, you know, Eddie's been gone. I'm like, I need you back. You're my closer. Come on. You know? So, um, and just being coachable and being able to coach, like those are two good things. Like if you feel like you need a little bit more, like it's an extra business, I think BNI is, Mm -hmm. you know, having, because it's your sales team, right? Like you're running your sales team. And so if you need a little coaching on how to do that better, I think leadership is a good way to do that as well. So Um, I think you shouldn't be afraid of being in leadership and you know what, it's not all sunshine and rainbows and roses, but you have a chance to really help other people be better. And that's what I love about it. Like, yeah, I want to, I want to, I mean, we passed a million dollars our first month, like when I, like a year ago, I think we did what a million or 2 million or 3 million for the year. And now we're passing a million a freaking month. Like what? So under John's leadership, John and Amber and um, Chris, like they killed it. So I have a lot of pressure to keep that level. I mean, really I do. And I take it very personally, me and um, Joe and Nick do to make it as amazing as it can be and to follow into the great things they did and to bring us just a little bit higher to the next level. So yeah, don't be afraid. It's really fun. And yeah, the changes you've made are, I've actually really loved them. I didn't even think we needed changes, you know, like we, you always think like, oh, we're doing so great. But then you came in and you changed it everything the first meeting. And I was like, you know what? 
I actually love this. I love that we have three presenters now because um, if anyone doesn't know, our chapter specifically has like, I don't know how many people, at 87. least 87. Holy crap. <laughs> so now we get more chances to speak before right. you, you literally used to have to wait an entire year. Um, but now it's more likely, you know, maybe twice a year, hopefully, or something in that um, vein. So well, I'm able to get the new people in sooner. So yep. once you come in, you don't have to wait eight weeks. You can come in, get your MSP done as soon as possible. And then we get you on the books right away. So yeah, I, I waited. That. I think I waited four months. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it happens and it, I wasn't mad about it or anything, but now that we have this change, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. So Lisa's doing a great job. And that's why I was really excited to have her on and be one of the first ones to come on and share her story. Cause she's one of those walking testimonies that you just, you want to learn from. So Alisa, I really appreciate your time today. This was really great for me. I really appreciate yeah. it. Oh, thanks, Macy. I'll see you in the morning. Bright You'll see early. me in the morning, bright and early. And to everyone watching, I really appreciate you as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye. All right. Thank <laughs> you.